This is ticket number, oh my gosh, it's gross. It's gross, wow. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Wabi Sabi, my brand new Japanese city core slash cyberpunk island. And today we're gonna be hunting for the first three villagers on this island. The one side of my island is going to be completely run by my husband and he's gonna take care of the boy villagers. And my side of the island is gonna be the left side of the island and it is gonna be all the girl villagers. Today I'm gonna to be hunting for two girls and one boy, of course, the lazy villager, the normal villager, and the peppy villager. So I had my husband go through and choose which villagers he would like. Here are the villagers on screen that we were looking for today. So if we run into any of those, we will be taking them. Hopefully it doesn't take us forever. I do have a bunch of tickets. And this is also a Goldie Branches stream. So if you hear me talking to other people, they hang in out with me to record this video. So we're starting with 50 in the pockets and we'll see who we can find. This is ticket number one. Now I have a confession to make. Okay. I already used one ticket last night because because I thought that I went too far setting up for these villagers and I thought the plots would already have auto-filled. So I had to go to an island and make sure. That's the story I'm sticking with. It was Sherb. Well, the boys aren't on my choice anyways and Lycan didn't choose Sherb, so I have no guilt. And yet I did feel the need to confess. My hands are clean. It's Chevre. There was like a period where she was like the most popular ever. I think she kind of looks like an alien. She is very aesthetic though. She's basic. Ooh, hot take Cammy. Aaron likes her. Aaron thinks she's a cute girl. Pip thinks she's a cute cook. Okay, ticket number two is... Oh my gosh. Isn't she snooty? No, she's not snooty. Should I take Nana? She's not on the overall list. Well, she was on the first list and I do like her, but I have her amiibo card. I think we should keep looking. She didn't make the thumbnail, then no. Okay. All right. Spicy. Oh, if you have an amiibo, then shave her to kick someone else out. <laughs> I'll shave her. Come here, Nana. I gotta shave you. No shaving of the monkey. Who's next? Melba, nope. This is ticket number four and it is Zucker. Uh, what do you think, Lycan? <laughs> no, no, we got nose on Zucker. Let's get number five. Ah, no, Gabriel, look away. Okay, Lycan, I really need you to look at this villager though because actually I think maybe he's too like baby faced for what you're interested in on your side of the island. He's not really like punk feeling or cyberpunk feeling. Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. Okay. Aaron, exactly. Too pure. Too pure. He is a wee baby. Like he is such a baby that like, how could you put him in like a cyberpunk area? He's not a nighttime boy. He's a daytime boy. He's a morning baby. All right, ticket number six and we haven't found anyone. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, she's on the list. Peppy girl. I do like her. The only thing that I don't like it when Nintendo does this is the stripes on the tail. Why did they do that? But she is on the thumbnail and I think that we are gonna take her. <laughs> are you being like, it's called fashion tail? Like one of my favorite memes in the world is that cat wearing one of those like Anjou pear did I invite her? Okay, yes, she's invited. Yeah, I like Anacati. Cool! We got our first villager. Anacati, welcome to Wabi Sabi. All right, so we've just got to get a lazy boy and a normal girl. Please take her. Oh, I'm so glad that you like her, Lycan. I'm really glad. I like her too. Ticket number seven. So it took us six tickets to find Anacati. And it's gonna be Crackle or Spork. What is this, two Sturgeons? What is even happening right now? Please tell me you don't have to recast. You're going for it? Ah, uh, oh, got it. Nailed it. Look at that. Ticket number eight is 
Fauna. Fauna had some like huge beef on Kate's Crossing channel like such a long time ago. Like the community was like banned against Fauna. I can't remember what it was about. It was with you, Aaron. Okay, I thought it was with you, but I wasn't gonna be presumptuous. Do you want me to hit her for you? Cause I will. This is for Aaron, okay? I mean, I have to defend Aaron. Fauna humiliated her, okay? On Kate's stream. She cut you off during a fashion show. She kept blocking you. Okay, Fauna's canceled. So I had to beat up Fauna for Aaron to defend Aaron's honor because Fauna was coming in here trying to think that I had forgotten and that we were going to be friends now after she dissed my friend. And it's not happening, man. It's not happening. Also, you know that thing that happens when you put lip chap on, all of a sudden every fiber and little hair in the room wants to come at your lips. There's fibers attaching themselves to my lip job. Ch job? <laughs> it's Alfonso! Lip job. Lip job. Ticket number 10 is going to be... Rhonda. Rhonda is just a vibe for me. Uh, not that I'm gonna take her today or probably ever, but I do not hate her. Rhonda and I are totally fine. Eric! You are so cottage core, Canada core. It's, it's Nana. I can see her little eyeballs. Nana, look at her just creeping. That was so funny. I've never had cherries like as a native fruit or as a sister fruit. So this is exciting. I don't know why it's exciting, but it is because I never had them before. Who's, oh, oh dear. This is ticket number, oh my gosh. Okay, ticket number four, Lycan, look who it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Yeah, the truth, Lycan, the truth. If you want us to keep looking, we'll keep looking because this stream, this villager is like your villager. No offense, but uh, okay. Then just say it, man. I'll be ostracized. No, Lycan, no. He's not convinced. He's too nerdy for cyberpunk. You've got, so you've got advocates, Lycan. You can be honest. You can tell us what you really think. It's gross. It's gross? Wow, okay. Lycan says no. Hot take, Lycan. I know he's really coming in here, like trying to stir it up, but that's fine. You know what? He's allowed to have villagers that he doesn't like. Chuck Finster as a duck. I feel like I, Chucky Finster. I feel like I should know who that is. Is that Rug, Rugrats? Oh my gosh, you are. I, that's exactly who I thought it was. Yes, he kind of does. Will I like and decide? This is his side of the island and he wants either Big Top or Hornsby. Gotta find a normal girl, not this normal girl. Okay, I gotta get my kangaroo sorted out because I feel like, okay, this one is Carrie. What's the other one that looks almost identical to Carrie? Kit, that is the one, Kit. So we're on ticket number 16. I can't believe we've gotten this far without finding a cute boy. Oh, but here's a cute boy. I think Drago is like my new favorite lazy villager after having him on Alexandria. 17, I can do math quickly. It's Olive. Oh my gosh, you cottagecore queen. Look at this girl. I need to see you. You're so baby. You so basic, but you so beautiful. Is he the one? No, that's not, it's not a he. This is my choice. Whoops. <laughs> Olive is not the right boy for our island. She's so cute though. I literally was calling her a queen like it. Did you not, you didn't pick up on that, I guess. <laughs> Ticket number 18. It's, I don't even have any words. I was trying to think about something clever to say, but I'm just, no. Mistake cow, strawberry mistake cow. If we find Jambet, I do not think that I have the strength. I will have to take her. Like she is the, Jambet ends the hunt. It's Rhonda. Ticket number 19 is Rhonda again. Nope, but Rhino. So, I mean, Hornsby, let's go. Ticket number 20 is Drago again. Is this the third time we've gotten Drago? Ticket number 21 is gonna be, oh, and I was so close to putting you on the list, but just, oh, we're really having a stare down, aren't we? Okay, bye, side eye. 
she really just like came up to me and like put her nose right next to my face like she was inspecting me gave me a side eye and then left i don't know something about the noses on the anteaters and the way that they talk and it's just their nose flopping like they don't actually have a mouth they're just like a nose 22 who are you you're chicken ava Ooh, it's a chicken Ooh, it's a chicken Ooh, it's a chicken bok 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 and we're not on farm court, so we're leaving Ticket number 23 is Chester Hangermouth. Chester is very divisive. I do find him creepy sometimes, but he's very Japanese. But Lycan has said nothing, so we're leaving. He's not on the list anyways. I don't know why I'm making this difficult. Do you think Rosie is purple or blue? I am inclined to think that she is blue. She's blurple. That's very diplomatic of you. Periwinkle. That's exactly it, Annabelle. She's periwinkle, which is like saying, it's like saying, is teal blue or green? You wouldn't say teal is blue or green. You would say it was teal. So yes, I'm gonna rescind my previous blue and say she's periwinkle, which is a color all of its own. And I'm gonna be contrary like that. Blurple. So we're just fence sitters over here. Ticket number 24 is a campfire. Hello? It's Melba again. Dear, ticket number 25. Ah, uh, the worst. 26, we're getting through our 50 tickets. Quit, come on, Spork again. Ticket number 27. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, Lycan, we need you to cross check another one. You put some cyberpunk glasses on this guy. What do you think? You like him? Are you just saying that? He can be the one nerdy guy? Okay, we're gonna take him. I'm excited. He's cute. I like Doc and I like bunnies too. Old bunny, his saying is old bunny. Okay, we're taking him. And honestly, if Lycan's not a big fan of him, if he asks to move, we, you can get somebody else out in. Doc and Anacotti, very interesting. I'm glad you like him, Lycan, yay. 28, but it's also just like ticket one for the normal babies, it's Molly. Ticket number 29 is Ava again. Number 30, number 30, we've already found two babies. So that's good, I saw some pink. Who's there? Who is, who is this? Nana, Nana really just wants to come home. She's like, don't you dare shave me. Glasses, Taya, engage. Oh, I can see. To get number 31, and it's very much hiding. Where are you? Oh, gosh. I don't think I have the strength. She's so perfect. And I do have Pico's amiibo. Like, I could get Pico at another time. I have had her on Canada Core. Am I gonna have you on a second island, Kiki? You would be the one to do it, wouldn't you? Oh, you like her too, Lycan? Okay, yeah, we're getting her. We're getting Kiki for Wabi Sabi. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, I could not have passed her if I wanted to. I agree, Toastmaster, that is like a solid start. We got Doc, Kiki, and Anacotti. She looks like she has been many a night in the cyberpunk district too, exactly. Even Anacotti actually, I can see her wandering over to that side and completely fitting in. And I can see Doc wandering over to my side and completely fitting in. Are you happy, Lycan? Do you like these starting villagers? I think that they're so cute. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today. Let me know what your thoughts are on Doc, Kiki, and Anacati, our starting villagers for Wabi Sabi. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!